So let's talk about five basic rules of probability. First, for any event A, the probability of that event is going to be greater than or equal to zero or less than or equal to one within that range. So as a few examples, maybe the probability of tossing a coin and getting heads is 0.5 or 50%. The probability of getting rain is maybe 0.3 on a given day. Or the probability of us winning a basketball game, maybe that's 0.7. Now, next, the sum of probabilities for all possible outcomes is going to be 1. So if we toss a coin and get heads, maybe the probability of that is 0.5, plus the probability of tossing it and getting a tails is 0.5. You add those together, you're going to get 1. Or let's go back to the basketball game. The probability of a win, maybe that's 0.7, and a loss is 0.3. We add those together, we're going to get 1. As the third rule, the probability that an event does not occur is going to be 1 minus the probability of it actually occurring. So it not occurring versus it actually occurring. So maybe the probability of rolling a six-sided die and not getting 1, that's going to be 1 minus the probability of rolling a 1, 0.1667. So 1 minus that probability is going to give us this value. That's the probability of not rolling a 1. We could also look at it in this example, the probability of it not raining is 1 minus the probability of rain. Okay, so that's going to give us 0.7 is the probability of not raining in this example. Before we talk about two more rules, let's note something about multiple events. So if we have an event A and B, those events are not disjoint if they can happen together. They can happen at the same time. So let's say we have a deck of playing cards. If we pull one out, that card could be both a nine and a club. They're not disjoint, they can happen together. Disjoint events would be, they cannot happen at the same time. So you flip a coin, you can't have both heads and tails land on the same coin. So they're disjoint. Rule number four is when disjoint, the probability of getting A or B is just the sum of the individual probabilities together. So if we're interested in knowing the probability of, in a deck of cards, pulling one out and getting a six of clubs or a ten of diamonds, one or the other, we just add those two probabilities together. We have 52 cards in a deck, one is a six of clubs, one is a ten of diamonds. We add those two together. When they're not disjoint, what we do is to get the probability of A or B occurring, we add the two individual probabilities together and subtract the probability of them happening at the same time. So let's say the events are getting a six, and there's four sixes in a deck, or the probability of getting a club, and there's 13 clubs in the deck. We add those two together, the individual probabilities together, and then we subtract the probability of them occurring at the same time. There's only one card in the deck that is both a six and a club. If we add them together and subtract the likelihood of having at the same time, we get 16 over 52. That's what we do when they're not disjoint. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click to subscribe. And if you want a free stats cheat sheet, you can find one over at codybaldwin.com.